Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video what we're going to be doing is going over a rundown of some of the big things that's happened within the Linux community in the last week. So the first thing that's happened is Lenovo is going to be shipping their new 8th generation X1 Carbon ThinkPads with Linux pre-installed. Now this is a big deal because this is the very first time Fedora is going to be shipped pre-installed on a computer from a major vendor and an even bigger deal that this is the very first time Linux is going to be shipped pre-installed on the world's largest laptop manufacturer. Now at the time this is the only model with Linux pre-installed but there will be more to come. This comes just after a few months ago when Lenovo certified Red Hat and Ubuntu for all of its workstations. Rob Herman, a general manager at Lenovo said, We're not talking about just hardware certification either. Lenovo will offer both Red Hat and Ubuntu LTS distributions pre-installed. Now speaking of big players dipping their toes into Linux, Amazon Web Services has released their very own distribution of Linux called Bottle Rocket OS and its primary purpose is to run containers. If you don't know what those are, containers allow software and applications to be isolated on one system from each other with their own libraries and configuration files. This is specific to the server space, but it is nice to see a company like Amazon starting to develop their own Linux distributions. A product manager at Amazon Web Services said, as our consumers increasingly adopt containers to run their workloads, we saw the need for a Linux distribution designed from the ground up to run containers with focus on security, operations, and manageability at scale. Customers need an operating system that would give them the ability to manage thousands of hosts running containers with automation. Also, the Linux Mint team announced some improvements on their blog, including with Warpinator, their new network file sharing service will now be available in Flatpak, so any distribution can go ahead and install it, and it is now going to be available for Linux Mint 18 and Linux Mint 19. If you're interested in learning more about Warpinator, I did cover this in my Linux Mint 20 overview video, so you could check that out. In addition, the Linux Mint team has announced web-based applications, so you can install uh, like a YouTube into its own little container and run that independently from your web browser. You go ahead and set these up, it seems pretty easy. That has a little configuration, you just input the website and everything else you need, and you are set up and good to go. Lastly, AMD announced more updates for their new Navi GPUs coming soon. That will be included in the Linux 5.10 kernel. As far as the 5.10 kernel, they're going to be opening up their merge window in about October but the actual kernel will not have a stable release until either the very end of the year or the very beginning of next year. As of right now, it seems that the 5.9 kernel will support the new Navi GPUs as the baseline. The updates sent over from AMD for the 5.10 kernel include a rework of the VRAM reservation handling, performance fixes, fixes for the fan control handling, and much more. So that about wraps up all the newsworthy things I figured to cover for this week. If you enjoyed this style of video, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll continue making these here and there. If you do, hit that like button. Hit this if you don't. Subscribe for more of this. Have a great day and goodbye.